school's going to open next week. Speed limit's 50. 500 of those a day. And you can't sit out there anyway because it's just bang, 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 beep, 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 crash, crash, crash all day long. In my mind, there are messages coming from the very top that this quarry is going to stay. Period. And eventually we'll wear out the people or they'll die. So pay attention, people. If you think this doesn't apply to you, then remember this is coming. RPC wants to mine the entire province. Here's an image that they put out just a couple of months ago of all the mining opportunities around the province. Now here's a map of all the waterways in the province. Mining and water protection do not go together in the same act. It's just not possible. Politicians and economists like Herb Emery continue to beat the drum about economic growth and they want to do it through developing natural resources. Here's a story of Premier Higgs talking to the federal government about transfer payments and in it he talks about expanding the growth of our natural resources as an economic driver. In this case he wants to expand or take the moratorium off fracking. In late July of 2020 this story emerged from the shadows on how the Sisson Mine project was a generational opportunity. Just to put this in context because it's hard to imagine, some wonderful artist put to scale the size of the Sisson mine in relation to the area around Fredericton. To the left you see the big open pit, and to the right you see the tailing pond, and that it completely encapsulates the entire community of Fredericton. While it's difficult to demonstrate, the authorization of the Myra Quarry was illegally corrupt. It's quite clear the process was morally corrupt. At every turn, from every angle, our gut tells us something was wrong. The fact the residents of the Royal Road were left with poisoned air, poisoned water, devalued property which they'll never recover, risk to their health, risk to their personal safety, and ghosted by the very government and politicians that are elected to protect them. The moral corruption is blatant. Time to drink from the cup of responsibility, civil servants and politicians. Heal what's left of the souls of these people, and heal what's left of the land, the air, and the water, for all our sakes.